So I started track freshman year of high school. I was a gymnast like 13 years before I started track. And I credit gymnastics to like 100% of my athletic ability because track, coming into track was just like easy for me. Long jump, I was like already winning all the meets as a freshman, so I was like, I could get good at this for real. So I was a level nine trampoline and tumbler. I did artistic gymnastics, which is like bars, beam, floor, vault. I did that for a long time and then I switched over to trampoline and tumbling because I'm more of like a power person than like a artistic person. So it was just all strength and speed and power just coming from gymnastics. It was just very easy to translate over into track. Because I mean, before you do a tumble pass, you have to sprint into it. And before you vault, you have to sprint into it and just everything. Yeah, yeah gymnastics. You got to be strong to be a gymnast. So, yeah. So I started practicing a lot more and like realizing that I could actually go far. And my coach, I did a club team, Talawa, he was saying since I have dual citizenship with Egypt, it would be like much easier to compete for Egypt because there's not as many long jumpers or track people in general. And in the U.S. there's like a billion, so <laughs> it was just easier to qualify for Egypt. I reached out to their coaches and they were excited to have me and they were wanting me to come and meet everyone and stuff like that. So yeah, that's how that happened. So my first interactions were in October. I practiced with the national team that whole week, even though I still wasn't technically on their team. I was representing a club in Egypt, but they were all so excited. Like they were all happy to have me and I'm the American one. So they're like, whoa, she's half, half and half. And I don't know, they were just, they're all very excited, very welcoming. Andrew, my club coach from high school, he's the one that's been like on me about it since like I was a junior in high school. He's like, you know, you could do this, you should reach out to them. And he's the one that like found their contact information and like looked up all the clubs and everything for me. So yeah, all of my family is from Egypt. My dad is from Egypt, so half my family's there. I've been going there my whole life since I was a baby. I've been probably eight to nine times before that. But I just went in October to meet um, everybody. First, I had to be on a club team there before I was like qualified for the national team until this past meet. But so I met the club and everything in October, and then I just went again last week <laughs> for the competition. Had you uh, prior to this past year had you ever been to a, a track and field meet when you were uh, in Egypt? In Egypt, no, <laughs> no. But I represent Al Ittihad. It's a club, so. Yeah, I've never competed for them before until then, <laughs> and now I'm on the national team, so that's cool. Because I won the Egypt Cup, or Egypt Nationals, that automatically takes me onto the Mediterranean competition in Spain, which is June 6th and 7th, and there I would have to jump 6.7 meters as the qualifying standard. No, 6.82 meters is the qualifying standard. 6.7 was 2016. <laughs> but that's what I need to jump at the Mediterranean competition or basically all outdoor season I have, I could qualify for that. Like even representing MOBEP, as long as I jump that outdoors, like in a real meet and it's documented, I qualify. So I have a lot of chances, but it's also going to be hard. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm trying, so. I think track is like, so it's very mental. You have to you have to visualize everything that you're doing, every like technique. You have to picture in your head first before you do it because everything that goes into long jump, like there's a lot of steps. You have to think of everything before you do it. If you miss one step, it'll like take off inches. Like the landing, if you mess up on the landing, it's going to take off inches. Or if you mess up the takeoff, it's going to take off inches. So everything has to be perfect. You have to visualize everything before you do it my nutrition, like I have meal plans, I watch what I eat all the time, and I practice a lot more than I normally like used to, because now that I have like a goal that I'm reaching, I am putting everything into it. I'm working way harder than I used to. And yes, lots of film, slow-mo, yeah. all of it, yeah. I do film on the takeoff, like specifically, and I do film on landing specifically, like there's a lot, yeah. but yeah. Well, basically, we practice all year. We're not like other sports where we have like an off season. Like even before indoor season, we start practice basically two weeks after school starts in preparation for the indoor season. And then as soon as outdoor, or as soon as indoor season is over, outdoor season starts. So we get like no breaks. We have practice basically every day, unless like snow day or something. 
but so that obviously helps a lot. And then outside of MOBEP, I do practice on my own, like every morning, so I just, I get a lot of prep that way too. So in the morning, I practice around two hours by myself or with Andrew, he's my, he's my club coach from high school that's been helping me and getting me like on the right track for real. And so that's like two hours. And then MOBAT practice is usually around two hours also. And then I do some mileage outside of practice also. So usually around like four or five hours a day. Like there's no, it's not hard to balance anything because my body, like I feel way stronger and faster and just healthier in general. So it's just better all the way around. <laughs> It would mean everything because I've been working so hard for it. It is kind of a long shot 2020, but 2024 I definitely want to be on the team, the Olympic team. Um, I still have like two and a half feet to qualify, but I'm still working very hard. I have by my birthday, which is June 29th, to qualify for the Olympics. And my current PR is 19 feet, um, eight inches, and I need, uh, what do I need? I need. 22 feet 4 inches I think so yeah